Fujifilm just announced a brand new analog Instax instant camera and we'll have a look at it. But first, let me go get a coffee. We're good now. So today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Instax Square SQ40 instant camera. It's a new square format camera and let me tell you, it looks really good. Okay, so let's find out what's in the Instax SQ40 box. First, we have an instruction manual. We have a shoulder strap, some CR2 batteries, and finally, the Instax Square SQ40 camera itself. Okay, so let's look at the design of the camera. It's very simple and classic looking. I love the leather-like finish on it with the silver accents. It makes the camera really feel luxurious and timeless, and I love it. Now, let's check out the camera. At the back, we have our back cover lock, which we can push down to open the back cover, and that is where we will put our Instax Square Instant Film. Now, let's load it with some film while we're here. So, we simply have to align the yellow tab on the film with the yellow tab inside the camera. Close the back cover and press the shutter button to eject the protective black card. Okay, so on the back cover, we do have a little window that will allow us to see if there's film loaded inside the camera so that we don't accidentally open the back cover when there's film loaded, because let me tell you, that would not be good for our film. Next, we have our film counter that will let us know how many shots are left in a pack. Then we have our viewfinder that will allow us to frame our shots. Looking at the top, we have our film ejection slot. This is where the photo comes out. And on the side, we have the battery compartment and the camera uses two CR2 batteries, which are included in the box. On each side of the camera, we have our strap lugs for our shoulder strap. Now looking at the front, we have our flash that will automatically fire if needed. And on the lens, we have our auto exposure light sensor and flashlight sensor. These sensor will automatically calculate the light to adjust the exposure to give you the best image. So you pretty much don't have to do anything about the light with the SQ40 camera. It's super simple and easy. Then we have our shutter button to take pictures and on the lens, we have a selfie mirror. To turn on the camera, simply rotate the lens and you will see that the flash charging lamp will turn orange. That means that the camera is on and ready to take a photo. Now, if we turn the lens further, we can get into the selfie mode, which can be also used as a close-up mode. Nice thing about shooting selfies with this mode is that the camera will automatically adjust the settings for this type of shooting. Again, the mirror is quite useful for that. By the way, you should keep 30 centimeters or 11 inches from the subject, even with the close-up mode, so that the print will come out in focus, in other words, without any blurring. When you are not in a close-up mode, you should keep 50 centimeters or about 20 inches from your subject. What I like about the square format is that there are so many different ways to take creative photos. So here are some tips for you. Try to place your subject in the center of the frame to create beautiful compositions. Leave some clear space around all sides of the subject and position your subject directly in the middle of your frame for best results. Framing the subject this way will really make them stand apart from the background and can make the photo even more impressive. You can try this with flat lay style shots, urban landscapes, and people to get great results. Also, symmetry can be used to create amazing effects in photography. Try aligning your subject in a way that creates symmetry from the center outwards. This technique can be used to create abstracts and unique images from many subject types. You can look for a reflection of a building in water, items laid in a flat lay style, or even symmetry found in nature. Next, try using negative space. Framing an image with negative space can really make your images stand out. It puts further focus on the subject and can help eliminate areas of the shot that you might not wish to include. To compose this type of images, place your subject within the frame, usually slightly off center or at the edge of the frame, and then leave a good amount of empty space around them. Other things you can try are line layouts, grid layouts, and filling the frame. Oh, and there will also be a camera case available for purchase separately. Now that pretty much sums it up for the new Instax Square SQ40 instant camera, an analog camera giving you a nostalgic vibe and unique pictures. Now we have something else to talk about. 
We recommend the SQ40 to our analog fans, but we also recommend Instax Up, which is an app that can digitize your Instax prints while keeping the analog feel. Anyone can download it for free from your favorite app store. You can change the design of the app from the settings to either fun or classic. Now, I think I'll go with the classic design today. This app will let you scan and print your Instax photos and digitize them. You can make various corrections and add the time and date as well as location data so that you can sort them later. So you can scan an image of any format, mini, square, or even wide. Now, even if you have actual writing on the photo, that will also be scanned. Place the image on a flat surface Make sure that the surface you're shooting on is not the same color as the film border and make sure that the green box on your smartphone screen is aligned with your photo and press scan. You can even remove glares on your photos just like this. You can also tag them to better organize them within your library. You can show them as a perfect list or even like they are stored in a box like this. Now, I love how the photos drop into the box, just like you'd see them in real life. From your library, you can select an Instax image to show on social media or simply send them to your friends. You can also crop the viewer itself and share them on social. Now, with the Instax Up app, you can have your collection of Instax photos, both in physical and digital format, which makes it really easy for you to share your Instax images with friends, family, and the entire world if you want. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this look at the brand new and exciting Instax Square SQ40 Instant Camera and the new Instax Up app. So that'll be it for today, and now I have some Instax shooting to do.